Fueled by DeathCast. It's well known. You started playing guitar when you were 12. Um, you were really interested in music at the time. But do you know what made you pick up a guitar that first time? Was it a, it's one of your influences or, or did you like see a shiny guitar and have to pick it up? It's really weird. <clears throat> My mom, t- will t- will, she's able to tell the story better because she obviously remembers it much better than I do. Mine are all referred memories. But I, I guess when I was like, two or three years old, my favorite movie of all time, still to this day, I love the movie, was Grease. <laughs> yes. And so my mom said I used to stand in front of the TV and watch Grease religiously when I was like two, three years old. And, and I memorized all the words at two, three, I'm singing along. And then she said, we went and visited my grandparents. I'm still like, you know, two or three years old. And my granddad had an old wooden tennis racket and uh, apparently I just picked it up and I stood in front of the TV watching Grease as always. And I just started strumming along uh, to Grease. So my mom was like, I knew like immediately that you were going to pursue music. And then it moved on to like drumming on my desk, like always, always. And my grandma was a pianist. So I was always bashing on the piano. So my mom was like, it was just in you from from the get go. But funnily enough, I um, I kept my love for music and I thoroughly enjoyed music all of my you know, preteen years too, but I didn't, I got really into sports and I was like, okay. I, and I just was playing basketball and football and uh, English football, soccer, uh, <laughs> swimming, rugby. I, I did everything, you know, I did gymnastics and I was like, okay. And and so I kind I never picked up a guitar until I was like 12. And then I was 12 and I was like, man, everyone, I was skinny. I was super scrawny. So I was playing rugby and I was getting my ass handed to me. I was just getting beat up, roughed up. I was like, this sucks. And also, I I had obviously started taking an interest in girls around the age of 12, you know, and I was like, man, this sucks being on a field just spanking loads of other dudes' asses and roughhousing with these dudes. I was like, what are the chicks doing while we're doing our sports? And they were all like doing trampolining or drama. And I was like, huh, I'm going to go and spend my time doing stuff with them. You guys enjoy the field, do your thing. And um, that's when I picked up guitar. I was like, oh, man, chicks love someone that's playing guitar. And I was like, they're all over there on the field thinking they're really cool and feeling each other up. And I'm sat with a circle of chicks around me playing smoke on the water terribly. <laughs> you know? But um, that was how it started for me, you know. And, and um, obviously it was always there in me, but it was just being a horny prepubescent preteen that made me actually get a guitar. And also I remember all my friends wanting to start guitar too. And all of their parents were like, okay, but you have to start with an acoustic and you have to get lessons. My dad was like, fuck that. Here's an electric. And I didn't have any lessons. He's bought. And I remember hitting the distortion button on my little practice amp and just hitting the strings and thinking, this sounds awesome immediately. I don't need lessons. Just like, bah, bah, bah. And I just, I loved it. <laughs> That's Excellent. That's there's no better reason. There's two things out of that story is that there's no better reason to pick up a guitar. Chicks and distortion. Hundred percent. If you got both of those. <laughs> I got both of those, yeah. you know. And I feel like it probably works if you're gay too. I feel like you, you would have been the cool kid on the block too, whether you're gay or straight. A guitar is just way more powerful than than um, you know, cleats or or spandex, you know. Yeah. So I dropped the sports and picked up guitar. Well, we're all thankful that you did. 